to the top here and welcome to the better Minecraft mod pack. As you can see behind me, I've already got myself a little starter base set up here. Uh, I've got some basic tools, I've got iron armor, etc. I've got myself a little backpack. Goals for the mod pack. Um, I want to have an explore, have a look at some of the cool new structures and uh, biomes that have been added into the world. Um, I've also added create into this mod pack, so I'll definitely be playing around with that. Uh, working myself towards getting some trains and stuff. Uh, however, first things first, I kind of need to go and get some more iron because I am running low. I don't know which one of the mods added like the like the uh, reverb when you go into caves and stuff. I love that. I've wanted that in Minecraft for so long. Yeah. I haven't made a shield, I haven't made a shield yet. No. Oh, I love this detail as well, the uh, pause for the different stone blocks. There's not just a uh, basic stone that can have ores now. And there's like a ravine or something in this direction. Hmm, maybe below me. Oh, there it is. Right, it was below me. Oh, I love this as well, like certain blocks when they're near water they'll like get mossy over time oh he's sprinting at me jeesh ah it's all blue and thought it was diamonds for a second i was like Ooh. the chicken oh nearly messed that up it's bright as well jeez need to tone down the shaders a little bit i think I found a, a couple of dungeons while I was doing my setting up stuff, like building my house. Well, all, all, all of this gear is enchanted, so I, I just found like a dungeon right near the spawn point that had like a bunch of enchanted gear in it. It was really useful, especially this sword, because it means I can uh, deal with skeletons and not a lot of hits. Ooh, a little goblin trader. Those guys are really, uh, really useful because you can... Uh... Ooh. Really? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I deserve it. Um, yeah, you can double your uh, your ores from him, or triple in that case. Well, it's not quite, not quite tripling. Two to three, but yeah, they're, they're really, uh, really fun. They, there's a there's a Nether variant as well you can find. I could get some copper actually and get him to smelt that for me as well. So I think I'm gonna need. I'll probably need some copper when I get to uh, create stuff. I mean, it's a mod pack. It might actually have more uses than just a decorational block anyway. Goblin friend. Little noises as well. Mm. Excuse me, I've got some more uh, some more stuff for you. Do you need do you want copper? Excuse me. Okay, sweet. So look at that, it was like half a stack and he, uh, he's giving me 60 back. Um, oh yeah, they can enchant stuff as well, with like really good uh, enchantments. Oh, 
Rotten flesh for coal. I'll take that. I can only get one, but. Take the cobble. I could take the emerald for a cobble as well. Uh, I don't want the cobble though. What I would like to find is some more diamonds because I've only got one. I just need three if I want a pickaxe, two if I want an enchanting table. And obviously, however much it would take to make like armor and stuff. What I didn't bring was the uh, crafting table, so I can't make myself another pickaxe when this one runs out. Oh, hello! Ding. Oh, that ain't any what? Useless. It's funny, the leads of this like single diamond veins. It's like really weird. Hello. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, lost bird. Right, so this is one of the uh, updated dungeons. What? What the heck did I... <clears throat> did I pick up something B-related? No, I didn't. Okay, weird. Uh, ooh, leads are good. Is it? Uh, 11 music disc. Cobble and dirt and stuff in there. Barrels. All right, should probably be working my way back up. My pickaxe is almost done. I don't have any wood to make a crafting table, unless I get incredibly lucky and find an abandoned mine shaft or some structure with wood down here. Uh, I'm kind of screwed. Ow! Oh dear! Oh dear! That's not good. Well, you always carry a bucket of water on you, folks. I guess you do something like that. I didn't know what I did, but I, 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 like, barely touched it. Ah, oh, the moss creepers. I, I don't know if they actually do damage. But I know when they explode, they, like... Yeah, they make a bunch of, like, moss stuff. <clears throat> okay, they do do damage. Oh, they make clay as well. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Zombie head. <laughs> Can I wear that as a hat? Because there is like a hat layer. Oh. Ooh. Ow. Excuse me. Oh, I've come back on myself because there's torches there. Well, actually, that's good because that means I can work my way in the direction of where I came in. Although I did have a big drop down. Well, actually, where, uh, oh, if I find the chicken, there was a, um, wow, look at the enemy's eyes glowing in the dark, that's terrifying. Oh, is that a daylight up there? Or night light, at least? Yeah, that's definitely, that's moonlight. So, I'm near a surface entrance, but whether I can actually get up there. Oh! Could have set myself in the bucket there. Where did it? Oh, there's a block. Ah, oh, the block above me. That's why I can't jump around that corner. I mean, there's some parkour wizard that could probably do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, that's definitely impossible. Um. Ooh. Goblin friend. I have walls. Hang on. Uh, bombs away. Put them away. Keep the goblin some gold. Yeah, new goblin. 
that's pretty good. I got a stack and a half of uh, of iron out of this. Pretty swish. All right. Is that is that the best way out? I don't think it is. To be honest, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna turn back, follow my torches. There were some torches around here. Uh. Ah, uh, yeah, I think this is where the other goblin was, but he's still up there. <laughs> Get in and sleep. Hello, Jilly. Hello, parrots. Oh, the sun's coming up anyway. Quick, sleep. Sleep before the sun comes up properly. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful. That might be thumbnail worthy. Oh, I just thought I'd, I've got these ore blocks. They um, you don't just smelt ore blocks anymore. I've never even really thought about it. I just had them. <laughs> I just picked them up in a in a dungeon chest somewhere. Didn't really think about it. Uh, what lapis? Or oh, do I want to make a diamond pick? I do have five now. I should have six because I've got one in the, the chest over there. So yeah, I'll make a diamond pick. Um, I will make an iron one as well. There's a backup, and I need to dump stuff. I will organise these chests at some point. I like I like these windows. These are the uh, one of the chipped windows as well. I've got this uh, glass blower's workbench get some like nice window designs but like i wish these were compatible with connected textures because this would look so cool if it's just one big window in the middle i will also decorate my house a bit more it's just it's a bit of a mess at the moment <laughs> kind of just got stuff thrown about everywhere right now i am gonna go for an explore while i was doing stuff sort of like gathering resources if i noticed there was a a castle type place off in that direction. I don't know if it's a village or whether it's uh, like a dungeon or just some, something else. Uh, but I am curious, so I want to go and have a look. Oh, how's eggplant? Great. Get some uh, get some aubergines. Oh, there we go. White a white uh, white aubergine there. I'm gonna say aubergine because I'm English. Um, you can't do anything about it. <laughs> if you want to call it an eggplant? That's fine by me, but I'm going to say aubergine because it's, it's it's such a good word. It's a good word, aubergine. So yeah, there's that little tower there, which I already I've already gone through. But I left the castle alone because I thought it'd be more fun to explore it on camera. It's a big structure. Uh, oh, there is uh, there is villages in there, so it might actually be a village like structure. Oh, we've got these really cool like mesa arches. No, it's not cool. Him shooting at me. Oh, you go away. Oh wait. Oh no, there's villager banners everywhere. Oh, maybe this isn't a good place then. They're all like in the wall. They're, they're all in that light building over there. I wonder if they're... They can't be trapped because they're villagers. Oh, they're, yeah, they are. They're in cages. I'm wondering if the pillagers haven't actually spawned because I got too close to this place in peaceful mode. That could potentially be a thing. Ooh, go horn. Hell yeah. <laughs> Love that. Sweet. Oh, and another one. So yeah, uh, I think I might have uh, screwed this slightly because I got just a little bit too close to it in uh, peaceful mode.
But hey, that's fine. That means I can uh, I can rescue all the villagers without having to like fight my way through a ridiculous amount of like uh, villagers. Don't worry, friends. I'm here to set you free. Oh wait, you're a different iron golem. You're like a clay golem almost. Hmm, interesting. Oh, okay. There really needs to be needs to be a uh, protection barrier up there. Don't know if there's like anything inside this house. There we go. There's a lectern, so we can get a. Uh, one of them can become a, uh, what's the name, villager. Emerald. Tea pickles. Oh, sweet, take those. Chest up in the attic. That steel blues. I think they've added, they've added like a load of uh, new records or music discs into, uh, into this pack as well. I don't know what the copyright situation is on any of them, so I don't know if I can play them on on videos. Ooh, a saddle. Well, in that case, I'll try and get one of those uh, donkeys. I would like to get a horse at some point, because obviously, um, the donkey wouldn't be a bad start because I could grab one of these. Empty out one of these chests, and then have a uh, bit of extra storage capacity. Uh, right, speed ten point five. Got quite a lot of hearts. Speed the same. Gun point is one point six two. What was your one? Okay, so you're literally identical. I didn't see the house, but the, the house, I presume, is the same as well. Ooh, wow. That is a, uh, heck of a flower forest over here. Got some big purple trees. Jacaranda. Uh, is this less than 100? Oh. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put my uh, horns away. I don't need to get horny right now. Stop laughing. It's not funny. <laughs> oh, we've got some. Uh, we've got some rarities. Any of these worth grabbing? Oh wow, that's very fast speed and quite a high jump height. No duck. Oh, a duck egg. Oh wait, these are different types of ducks. These are naturalist ducks. Hmm. But these ones lay eggs. So the ones I've seen before don't lay eggs. 3.2, 10 uh, 10.6. Okay, you're definitely... That's a keeper. Chloe will be pleased with me. I'm going for rarity right away. Wait. Oh, man, yeah, look at that. I am speed. Vroom. What is that? Is that a panda? Do they... Is that what they look like on the map? He looks angry. Is he an angry panda? Hey, buddy. Yeah, you're an angry panda. <laughs> you. <laughs> Grumpy boy. Whoa. Oh dear. Oh dear. Some of the really fast speed of the things are a little bit uncontrollable. Ah. So, 
picture of that's going to be yonder town. I've already discovered that. So 400 blocks or that way, there's another village. Okay. I'll go and find that then. Don't shoot rarity. You'll make Chloe cry. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, Chloe. I'm not going to watch this. I don't care. What is this? Whoa. Enchanted forest. Or forgotten forest. It's a village in, in this biome? Is it in the amaranth fields? Ah, there it is. It's down there. So one of the things that villages have in this mod pack... I saw it a second ago. I've lost where it is now. Uh, there it is. They have waystones built into them, so you can just teleport back to it later. Costs cost a level to use them. Code Ropey. All right. I will probably rename that at some point. I will also mark it on the map. Keep disabled for now. Uh, these are cool. The stove, the stoves, and the cooking pots. There's also there's a skillet as well. You don't get XP from the from the skillet, but you can just sort of you can just dump everything on there. Like as long as there's a heat source underneath it, you don't have to worry about like burning fuel or anything. <laughs> Hello. Oh, okay, that was lag there. So that's looking like a savanna. Could be potentially a little bit dangerous if we run into some lions. Keep an eye on the mini map. I've got some uh, mud. I think I grabbed a load of mud uh, from somewhere. That's a rhino. That's that's one of the things I'm toying with doing I, I, I'm, I'm toying with the idea of making a zoo I'm trying to gather all of like the uh, the modded animals i wanted to do that once before years ago back when uh, i was doing a channel called uh, diet gaming with a couple of friends from school i think one of our ideas for a series well it's my idea for a series i put, put forward to them was to try and like uh do a noah's ark thing and try and get two of every animal but like on a on a big boat, so I might I might potentially do that with the, with this series. There's like a bunch of different uh, animal mods in it because like back in like the old school days of modded Minecraft, there was like just there was just mo creatures pretty much. Like there was there was a few mobs that got added by other mods, but like the main one was mo creatures. Um, as far as I know, mo creatures isn't really a thing anymore. It's not, or at least not uh, officially. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of different mods in this that added uh, that have added extra mobs to the game. Biomes are plenty. That's another mod that's that's like changed or like has been like replaced with other mods. Now we've got oh the biomes you'll go and there's uh, I think there's a think there's biomepedia as well. I think both both of those are in here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're kind of in a renaissance for modern Minecraft, I think, because like, with like the Curse Forge launcher and stuff like 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 the Curse Forge launcher, there's like so much more opportunity. It's, it's like so much easier to like install mod packs these days. Feed the Beast had its own launcher, I think, or you could, you could get a Feed the Beast launcher later on. But like a lot of the time, it was still you had to do everything manually, and that kind of put a lot of people off, I think. Where's the chest? I haven't even seen the uh, chest. What the, where did you come from? Deserved. It would be cool if, like, nether portals did do this over time, sort of, like, slowly, like, netherrack and stuff, like, leaked out of them. It would be annoying, but it would be, it would be a cool feature. Gives you even more incentive to build it, like, away from your base, just because it slowly just, like, spreads over time. I mean, as long as it didn't like spread ridiculously far, like it wasn't like like the old Thorncraft taint, where it would just if just left unchecked, it would just go forever. 
that's another mod that's just like no longer in existence. There was a video I watched recently actually sort of talking about all the big mods from back in the day, like where are they now kind of thing. Some of them I think are still sort of going, but like they haven't been updated past 1.12 just because of like the API changes and stuff that happened around then. What is that? That looks cool. I don't know what that is. I haven't seen that before. Question is, is it hostile? Uh, there's a cat in there, so I would guess no. Ow. Oh, oh no, she's stuck on the thing. That's dumb. Probably the cat, needs, the cat isn't even in, in the thing. It's just a, a wild, wild jungle cat. Knocking about. Uh, there's a lot of barrels. Mm. Yeah, tell you what, I'll come back for this. Weeping witch for all dear, I don't know. Oh, hello, pillagers. Found out I raided their castle. Well, they were out. <laughs> I mean, I was on them, really, you know. Don't get raided, don't go out. <laughs> Makes sense, right? <laughs> Pro tip, if you never want to get robbed, never leave your house. Ever. <laughs> ah, no, this, this, uh, this structure here, big, like, bone block thing, this is where I, uh, I got all my, like, starting loot from. There's also this here. Which I I looted a few chests from it, but there's like a big bit that's like underwater. Underwater. Uh somewhere. Might have been down there. Yeah, there's like a staircase down and then there's a big staircase that was like going into an underwater bit. Um but I don't have any like underwater breathing stuff at the moment, so I'm leaving that for later. I don't know what the loot is going to be like in there anyway. Pop the horse in the pen. And there's zombies everywhere. Oh, and you can jump in. Ah, get out. Nope, don't let the sheep out. Okay, zombies are just in there now. Oh. Okay, that just didn't open. I'm not going to go to sleep because there's monsters nearby. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Priority. Some more chests. Alright. And get some. Actually, this wouldn't be a bad spot for storage. Uh. Is <laughs> the uh, carry on mod? You can just pick up a chest and just. All right, that's how I picked up that uh, that chicken in the cave earlier as well. <laughs> I've got absolutely no chance of organising all of this. Um, so I'm just not. <laughs> uh, I'll get the XP bottles there. I don't think I actually even used the shears. I feel like I had some emeralds already. Yes, I did. Need a book. Uh, stop there. Right. Enchanting table. Now, enchanting tables are good in this because um, you can re-roll the enchantments. It costs a bit of XP and a piece of lapis, but like lapis is pretty, you know, easy to get hold of anyway. Don't think I'm gonna go into the Nether this episode. Uh, but I might get out a spot for my portal. Uh, I kind of want it to be a bit out of the way. Maybe, maybe over there on the little, uh, the little outcrop, or maybe uh, head into town and do it there. Right, it's three wide. Oh, I love this mod as well. That like. Uh, has stuff like grow over other bits, like a really cool little thing. 
just just for that little bit of extra detail. Uh, oh, I can actually go straight the way across. I don't even need to do the cornerstones. Yeah, all right then. Do that. Wait. I'm gonna use these for the uh, the floor. I love this. <laughs> I keep I keep saying, oh, I love I love all these bods. Just like, the different uh, types of crafting table as well. Like a really nice touch. Right, and then I can put fences on the other. Oh no, that might be a problem because of the corner. Yeah, I might have to do that the other way around so the cobblestone. It will either that or I'd go out one further. Yeah, I'll go out one further. Right, well, I'll uh, prettify this up. I'll, uh, I'll do some paving and uh, tune in next time and I'll be heading into the nether and checking out some of the stuff in there because there is a lot of stuff that's changed in the nether. It is a lot more dangerous than it is normally. So yes, be sure to tune in for that. I've been Tim Smith and I'll see you next time. Bye!